Hello, I'm Peter Dyke, Assistant Organist here at Hereford Cathedral, and here we are in the Song School, where we're making plans for our rather special event that we're having in the few days that there are between the coronation and the Eurovision Song Contest, which takes place in the middle of May. We're planning a special Europe Day interactive organ concert. And you might say, well, what in the world is one of those? And I'll explain. Um, there will be um, 10 pieces from different European countries celebrating the great diversity of music that there has been in the European continent over the last five centuries or so. Everybody in the audience will receive a programme sheet, just as usual, with the names of the pieces and the names of the composers and little descriptions about the pieces. For example, there might be a piece that says it has very high flute stops, or there might be a piece from France, for example, that has a very loud staccato with crashing chords at the end. And there might be a piece that says it's very quiet and it has a decorated melody and has a very calming effect. And then the trick of this is that the pieces are not played in the same order as they appear on the programme. There is a competition element here as well, and the audience is invited to take part in the competition by writing down what they think the correct order is, by writing in the name of the country against a list that you can see now on your screen. So, you'll hear the pieces. They won't be in the same order as they'll be in the programme, but you might hear a piece that goes a bit like this. You'd have to think which of those descriptions matches that piece. Is it the one with a gentle ornamented melody? Is it the one with the big crashing chords at the end? Or is it the one with the high flute stops? Well, it's going to be number three in this one. It's going to be the one with the high flute stops, I think. And you put that down as your answer on the answer sheet. Now, at the end of the concert, all the answer sheets are collected in and we see who's actually managed to get the most right answers. And there will be a prize for the winning person. If lots of people have the same right answers, of course, we have to draw them out of a hat. But it's a very exciting way, of new way of listening to music, really, because it, we found that it has a serious point. It helps the audience engage more and listen more actively with the pieces. And I think it's a great bit of fun. Of course, you don't have to take part in the competition. You can just enjoy all the organ music and let it all wash over you. But it's going to be a really exciting and interesting, different sort of organ event. It takes place on Tuesday the 9th of May at 1.15 and will finish at about 2 o'clock. I hope that we can see you there.